Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now look at this beautiful blanket. This is a beginner fillet blanket. Now fillet means, when you do fillet crochet, it means you're either filling in the boxes or you're leaving them open like this. This is a really simple one, beautiful for a cot, a newborn baby, a crib, anything like that. You can make it for your own bed, make it as a shawl, make it huge for a big bedspread. Make them and put them over the top of your sofa to keep your sofas clean, your chairs, enable anything, absolutely anything. This pattern is so simple. It's easy and it's quick. Now, my little blanket here, I'll measure it and I'll put the measurements in the description. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 sets of 7. But I've actually got 11 because I've got 3 stitches at the end and my first fillet hole and I've got 3 stitches here on this side. So that makes it nice and even. It is a stitch count of seven. I've got 11 all together. I've got 10 in my pattern and I've got one split here at the sides. I've got three stitches, one fillet and I've got three stitches here at the end. I put a couple of rounds of treble crochets around my blanket edge. I've got one up the side. You can, to do the sides, when you do when you do the side just put two treble crochets uk treble crochets into each sort of your line spaces i've got two in each in the corner i've got two treble crochets two chain and two treble crochets now when i say this is a uk treble crochet this is a usa double crochet if you're in another country and look at this this is absolutely beautiful i'm going to show you how to do it it's really simple this color of yarn is ballerina pink i'll go and get the ball now I did my blanket with an Aran yarn and it's a paint box. This is absolutely beautiful. This is ballerina pink. The number for this is 252 and the colour is ballerina pink. It's a kind of peachy pink. It's absolutely adorable. It's beautiful. Amazing for baby blankets as well. Imagine this really big on your bed. I really like it. You can get this all in different colours. Lots of lovely pastel shades, lots of dark shades as well if you want a darker blanket. It's beautiful. It crochets up amazing. So to do this pattern, it's really simple for a beginner as well. Put your wool on your hook. If you can't do a slip knot, then just tie it on to your hook. And you're going to do your chain in sets of seven stitches. That's one, don't do them too tight, one, two, three, you just yarn over and pull through your loop, that's four, yarn over, pull through your loop, that's five, six and seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll do one more set. So I've got my chain done and I've done it in sets of seven. I'm going to add an extra two stitches, one and two. So we're going into the fourth stitch in the chain. So count one, two, three and into that fourth stitch, you're going to do a yarn over and go into this stitch. In the UK, this is called a treble crochet and if you're in the USA, it's called a double crochet. So that chain, those stitches that you skipped is your first treble crochet and that one's two. So we're going to put another treble crochet into the next stitch. So put your yarn over and go through the next stitch. Pull through. You've got three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. So your chain is your first treble crochet, that's your second and that's your third. Now we're going to do that little fillet space. So chain one, 
skip one stitch and go into the next stitch and do a treble crochet. So yarn over, go through the stitch, you've got three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. And that gives you your first fillet space. That's your little space. So we need six treble crochets. We've got one here. So into the next stitch, do your next one. In my pattern, I did six in between the fillet space. So that's one, two, yarn over, into the next stitch, and do your treble crochet. That's three, into the next stitch. That's four. So yarn over and into the next stitch. That's five. Yarn over and into the next stitch. That's six. Chain one. Skip one and do another six treble crochets along. So that's one. Two. Three, four, five, and six. Chain one, skip one, and then do another six. You're going to do that all the way along until you've only got four stitches left. So if you've done yours in sets of seven and then added that extra two, you should end up with four stitches at the end. So I've got my fillet space, I've got three here, my fillet space, then six, my space, six, a space, six and a space all the way along. One, two, three. Now you should have four stitches left. One, two, three and four. You're going to chain one, skip one stitch and do three treble crochets on the end. You're going to do three treble crochets, one into each of those last three stitches. One, two and three. This keeps your edge nice and straight. So once you've got used to doing this, you can adjust the amount of stitches in here. All you do is just take a stitch away as you're working along. It's up to you. You can have that space anywhere you want it. You're going to chain two. One, two. Do them kind of slack. Don't do it too tight. This keeps your edge nice and straight. Into the next stitch. Now, what I'm going to show you is... You've got your two loops on the top, all your stitches on the top, and you've got a little stitch that goes across here. Can you see that one that goes across there? Now, if you push your hook in there, right through, you're taking those two top stitches and that little stitch, and that will keep your treble crochets right on top of each other. So that when you're doing your blanket, it comes out like this. You've got your stitches right on top of each other. And it's so, so much neater. It's really neat and it's really pretty. And it really gives a professional finish to your crochet. If you go into that tiny little stitch that's there and it keeps them right on top of each other. When you go through the whole space, they kind of go off to the left or to the right. So I'll show you that again. I'll put my stitch back on my hook. So we're going in to that little stitch there. So yarn over. And there's that piece of yarn there going across there. If you go right through there, right through you've got the two on the top and you've got that little one there pull your yarn through yarn over through two loops yarn over and through two loops and look at that it keeps your treble crochet right on the top 
So you're going into that little stitch that's right there and through there. So yarn over and into that little bundle you can see there and pull your yarn through. So now when you've got to the space you're going to do chain one and go to the top of the next stitch and put it through that little part that goes across there. There's a lot of space. Makes it so much neater and it's only a few split second. Rather than go in the hole there, it makes your stitch go off centre slightly. But if you put it through there, that little space, and pull your yarn through, you're going right through that, under that stitch there. It gives you a much neater stitch, especially if you sell your blankets. If you can't do it, just use the tip of your hook and go in right where that post is at the top. And you can see it there, you're just coming through there. And that makes your stitch right in the top. And you'll get quicker as you go. So we're going to work these six stitches. My last one, that bundle. Chain one, skip that chain space and go into the, the treble crochet next to that chain space and do your six treble crochets. And that's it. That is basically all you do when you get to a chain space. I'm going to work along here, do your six stitches, if you can't get it in just push your hook, the point of your hook in, just push the point of your hook in, it makes it so much neater. One more, And when you're at your chain space, you're going to chain one and go to that next treble crochet. Just take your hook and put it in where that little stitch is, just right in there. And it keeps it all on top of each other. You don't have to do that, but it does make your blanket much neater. When you'll work your way along to the end. That one went into the... I'll show you what it looks like when you go just when you just go into the space. I'll show you what it looks like when you just go into those spaces. Look at the difference. Over here it's your stitches are sort of off to the side. But when you go through that tiny little loop that's there, it keeps them right on top of each other. You can see the difference there. It, it sort of ends up, the stitch sort of ends up in the middle and that's, it doesn't quite look nice and neat and compact. It's so much better when you go in through that little rounded stitch there. Into that little stitch that's just right there. There's a little stitch that goes across. Just push your hook in and through. and work your six stitches. Got two more. Right, last one. And that's where a really good point on your hook comes in handy. A lot of people forget to go in here. My mother always taught me to go in through that little stitch whenever possible. So we're going to chain one, skip the space, we're creating another space with that chain one and work your way along and that's what you'll do row after row until your blanket is as big as you want it and then just go around the whole blanket and do a little border of treble crochets that's all I that's all I did and you can see how quickly you can get that little stitch 
chain one but don't worry if you can you can just go into that space if you want to it's just a lot neater so chain one skip the chain space and treble crochet into your last three treble crochets and you'll do that on your blanket until you've done as many rows as you want now at the end because we only chain two you're going right into the top of that little chain chain two one two don't do them too tight and that way you got a really neat edge someone sent me a little comment the other day saying that they always just do two chain when they're doing a, tr a UK treble or a USA double and it gives a much neater edge that is great as long as you don't do those two stitches too tight make sure you, you do them a decent size so again you're just going to go into the next stitch we're doing three along chain one skip your space and then do your treble crochets and that's it that's how easy this blanket is and this is what you're going to get look how nice and neat that is with those stitches right on the top of each other it's really neat it's a great stitch so when you've done your blanket you can put as many rounds of a border on as you want I put one treble crochet, I put one into that space and one into the top of each stitch. When I got down the sides, you can see the pattern here, I put two stitches into each one. Now on the top what I did was I put an extra row, on the top I put an extra row of treble crochets along the top. Two on the bottom and I just did one down the sides and that was plenty. So thank you very much for watching. Please give this a try. I'm sure you're going to love it, even if you're a complete beginner. Make it to fit a cot. You can, it could fit anything. You can make it as big as you want. And the stitch count is seven. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you click on the bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.